Eric, good to see you. How are Great you? Good to be with you, Sean. As always. Appreciate you uh, being here. You know, I read about, I, I know I have to read it so my audience doesn't have to go near it, the Washington Post. Yeah. And they had an incredible story. Four days after he lost his son yeah. in Afghanistan, General Kelly was given a speech. He said, the one thing I don't want you to mention is my son. Yeah. He talked about the horrible treatment of our military. We asked him to fight, bleed, and die. And then we say, oh, never mind, because it becomes politicized. And then he said something, well, we're only one of 5,500 American families that have suffered the loss of a child in this war. The death of my boy simply cannot be made to seem more tragic than others. And I'm thinking, wow. Amazing. What an amazing human being. He is an amazing human being. You know, he's, a, he's an incredible guy. I've gotten to know him. He's tough. He's disciplined. He's incredibly smart. Uh, he will operate that place so incredibly well. And listen, my father has so many people, so many great people by his side. I mean, the whole cabinet. I mean, he really has one of the most impressive cabinets there. But in, in terms of organization, I think you give it to a military guy. I think he is going to do an incredible, incredible job for the Trump administration. I was watching your father out tweeting all weekend, and I agree with your dad. They, you know, either they're quitters total quitters in the Senate or repeal and replace is not dead. Yeah. And I'm like, this is August. Your father's been in office since the 20th of January. Yeah. And as a, I'm a cons registered conservative, but I, I mostly vote Republican. Sure. I'm like, what's wrong with these people? And look at the weight that he has to carry, right? I mean, look at look at the weight and look at the good things that are happening. I mean, the media doesn't want to talk about it. You talk about it. But the media doesn't want to talk about it. But you would think they would get on the bandwagon of what? We have a stock market that's 100 points off of you know a record 22,000 is already at a record it broke another yeah, record that's today. true there's he's broken 30 records in the last you know three four months I mean it's just skyrocketing you look at oil prices and how good that is right for this you look at infrastructure all the pipelines and, and things that are going in you look at the military what he's doing you look at the VA and what he's doing I mean tax reform which he obviously wants to get done which would be incredible for this country you look at consumer confidence you look at you know building in in, in America I mean so many incredible things that are being done and all they want to focus on is, is is Russia and the scandal and I guarantee you if you watch the mainstream media the only thing that they're going to talk about is Anthony for the next you know two weeks Four days, three, 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 know. whatever it is but they won't won't talk about the stock market. They won't talk about people's 401ks. They won't talk about the regulation economy. gone. The promises kept. I mean, it's, it's everything amazing. That's you know, uh, this country is four trillion dollars richer. Four trillion dollars richer under my father in the first six months. I'm and, and where is that? I mean, but, where is but that? But the Republicans are not only. They're, they all ran on repeal and replace, Eric. Your father, as he said, you guys have made this promise now for seven years. I have a pen in hand. I'm ready to sign it. And the things that your father made, the promises on the campaign trail, he's kept. But not only that, they've allowed this phony Russian narrative to go out for so long. But yet we've got Ukraine collusion. We got Uranium One. We got the email server scandal, which we know laws were broken. You got Comey leaking. The general counsel, we learned of the FBI last week, is, is leaking. Loretta Lynch, they're not even using the power of subpoena sure. to investigate what I truly see as real evidence, real crimes. And Sean, my father said it. I mean, he said it a couple weeks ago in a, in a tweet. He said, you know, am I ha gonna have to carry this whole weight on my shoulder? I mean, when are some of the people in my own party gonna start protecting me? And I feel this, well, listen, I'm an outsider. I'm looking in on the White House, right? I mean, I'm running our, our company, but I mean, I want somebody to start fighting for him. You know, and he's, he's the best fighter in the world. He will do a better job fighting him for, for himself than all of them will do fighting for him. But mm -hmm. I mean, how much weight does he have to carry by himself? How can a party that is doing so much better than the Democrats, if you look at how much more money the Republicans are raising, you look at the complete shambles that the DNC is, you know, is in, you know, the DNC is in debt. The Republicans are raising seven times on a monthly basis what the DNC are, like, why wouldn't they embrace that? Why wouldn't they carry out? My father has the voice of this country. The people of this country love him. Why wouldn't they get in line? It doesn't make sense, especially keeping promises is good it. politics, Eric. That's right. You want, you want to right. raise money? You want to do well? You want to get reelected? How about you, you build the wall? But, but Sean, especially for fundamentally... Repeal, replace. Especially for a fundamentally broken system. Obamacare has gone down the tubes. It's a bankrupt system. It's going to be subsidized. Insurance companies want nothing to do with it. The best doctors aren't honoring it. I mean, premiums have gone up. 100, 200, In Arizona, 116 percent this it's year. It's breaking. So you, so you mean to tell me, and by the way, this goes for Democrats as well, you mean to tell me that there's not a single Democrat on the opposite side of the aisle that doesn't see a single no. problem no. with Obamacare, that they no, wouldn't they join forces They don't with want Republicans your father to succeed. Of course not. Of course they don't. And I listen, I say it all the time on Fox. I say it all 
all the time, just in general. They would rather see this country fail than see my father That's succeed. That's sad. That is really. Let me. I've identified on this program five forces that are against your father. I call it the deep state. Sure. There's, there are more intel leaks seven times the past two administrations against your father. Sure. Then you've got, obviously, Democrats. Get it. They hate him. They don't want him to have one success. And I think your comment is relevant and appropriate. Then you got the media, which focuses on, on process, palace intrigue in Russia. Then you got weak Republicans. John McCain had promised us how many years yeah. and was so disappointing last week and the last one is never Trumpers but what that's a lot of forces ganging up against one guy yeah. is it is that the whole swamp you know what it, well it is the whole swamp but he's tougher than all of them he's tougher than all five of those groups and you look at the media I mean the, the media has really gone to shambles they would rather focus on the Russia you know and they would rather focus on these nonsense stories than real news that people care about and that's a sad thing for this country it's a sad thing for for democracy you know it's it's just a, it's a sad thing for the morality of this country it's it's really a race to the bottom with the media these days it's no longer who has the best journalistic integrity who puts out the best story what's the most meaningful story how it affects people it's who can publish the most sensational story that gets the most clicks on Twitter or Facebook or one of these and it's really become it's a hurting race. the American people it, it, it's a race to the bottom and there's no questions hurting yeah Eric good to see you yeah it's great to see you stopping by